Good evening everyone, it's Marchi. If you watched my last video, I showed you an ingredient that I will be using in this cookery segment. And it was these rice noodles. So I'm just going to show you something that I make a fair bit and I love it. So I hope you will too. So here are the ingredients I will be using. Look, I prepared it all profesh, like Delia Smith. All right, so that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to show you how to make, I call them lettuce cups really so let's get going like I said I've prepared everything just one thing let me just tell you I forgot to get spring onions now normally I would use spring onions for this I forgot those things when you go to the shop you look you're only going for a few things and then you end up getting loads of other things and you've forgotten the thing that you've actually gone to get well that was me yogurts spring onions stuff for this I forgot the spring onion anyway so I've got onion, which is fine, it will still be nice, okay? So the pan is heated, so I'm going to use coconut fry lights to keep with the Asian theme. So this is all heated up, I'm going to give it a little zhuzh, and I'm going to go straight in with me winyon there, plus... You don't have to put chilli, if you want to you can, so I'm going to put some in and I'm leaving a little bit there to sprinkle on after if I feel like it. And so these are the aromatics going in, so just to grate out or you crush up, whatever you want, or you can just slice it. I'm just going to grate in garlic, I'm going to put two in, if you don't like it too garlicky just put one, but I like it quite garlicky. and some ginger fresh ginger don't use powdered it's not for right for this you've got to use fresh stuff grating in that ginger so straight away we're getting loads of flavor in there because we're not using a lot of fat we have to get flavor in somehow because fat is flavor really but I shouldn't really say that during a cinema video but let's face it there you go so that's that, I'm going to get this spoon. So I'm just going to fry this, soften it a little bit. And I've got the gas on low for now. So you can smell that straight away. It's We're in Asia, basically. Straight away you can smell ginger, garlic, the spring onions are better. But, it's, but it is still, it's fine like this. So, there we go. Now... 2% mints or just under 5% turkey mints because I don't eat red meat so I've got turkey mints so now this isn't properly cooked at all but I'm going to put this in now because this cooks for a little bit and the onions and all that it will continue cooking with this anyway so I'm just going to scrunch it up put it in I use my hands a lot when I'm cooking don't worry they're clean but hands are a cook's best instruments in the kitchen. Or utensils, not instruments, or whatever, you know what I mean. So, I'm drizzling it around a little bit. Incorporating all the aromatics. So at this point, I'm going to put some five spice. Careful you don't put too much because it can be overpowering otherwise. So I'm probably putting half a teaspoon or so. And I'm just going to let this cook for a little bit while I am stirring it. Right, so you can see that this is cooking. Still not properly cooked, but that's alright. It doesn't have to be. It's going to carry on cooking a bit more now just trying to break up the um, mince really at this stage and just getting it all in see obviously the onions and all that it's all cooking into the meat so we want good flavour 
So now I'm going to add some soy sauce free on Slimming World. So, I don't know, a couple of, lev couple of level tablespoons. As much or a little as you want. But don't put too much because it'll be too salty. Um, and you can always put more, but you can't take it out. So, I'm let this go a little bit. At this point as well, when I've put this in, I'm going to put hot, about a third of my chopped coriander because I want that flavour. See, instantly, look at the, just the green perks up the whole pan. Just looks tasty. Um, so I'm putting some in now to get the, get the coriander flavour, but the rest is to sprinkle on after, because really, soft herbs like that are really to have raw. Um, well, no, basil you put in sauce and cook, but anyway, I'm doing a bit of both. So there you go. So now, you see there's all that liquid in there. That's what I want to cook away a little bit. Not completely, but I want it to cook away because when it when it cooks away, the, those flavours are going to intensify as well. And at the same time, while they're intensifying, the meat will all be perfectly cooked. So this will continue cooking. There's something I forgot to put. Oh no, I don't have to put I was going to put white pepper in, but then I just thought I'd put the five spice. We don't really need white pepper. So, we'll let that cook for a bit. So, this is bubbling away. Obviously, a little bit more liquid has come out of the meat. That's fine, but just leave it every now and again. Just make sure it doesn't burn. Just give it a little mix around. There we go. And at this point, because these are really quick to cook, literally minutes, there's my pan of water. I'm just going to put them in like that. There you go. And they will be cooked in no time. So these are free rice noodles. As long as they're dried, not fresh, like straight to wok ones, they're, they're, those ones you have to sin. Anything dried, you don't. So we'll leave that, I'll just turn the heat up a little bit. And I've turned the heat up on this because I want the liquid to evaporate a little bit. So, towards the end of this, when it's cooked, which it's not far off now, it doesn't take long at all. So while that is still cooking, come over here and I'll show you this. So these are my little gem leaves I've washed them, put them nicely on a tray. So this is loads, I won't eat all this for myself, but I've done this because my husband might have a few, my son might grab a few, but this is basically my dinner. So these are my lettuce cups, put them there, move that. So now I'll show you what I'm going to do. So as you can see, look, all this, a lot of the liquid is gone and the mince is actually cooked now. Like I said, it doesn't take long. Let's see how um, these are getting on here. I really pushed it off the hob. So let's start, just break them up a little bit. Sorry about that noise, really annoying. There you go. Right, that won't take long. Right, at this point, I'll turn the gas off. You can use fresh lime is the best, but I've just got this for now, and that'll do. And I'm just going to put, oh look, why has that come out? The thing, the little thing. Right, I'll put it back. So I'm going to put a little bit of that, probably, oh, I don't know, a tablespoon, I'd imagine. That's free anyway. And that just gives it a little lift at the end. Look, freshness and lift. You know. So I'm going to just taste a little bit. That's good, isn't it? Right, that's done. We're just waiting for these noodlies now. Right, so they're cooked, they don't take long. I've strained them and I've just uh, rinsed them in a little bit of cold water to cool them down, because we're just gonna pick them like this, right? So now I'm gonna show you, we need these now. So, there's my lettuce leaves. So we literally, if, if you don't want the noodles in and you're on SP, then just don't put the noodles in, but you can 
just don't put the noodles in but i'm not on sp i'm just on the norm easy so i just put a little bit of noodles in each leaf so i have filled um the leaves with a little bit of rice noodles so next thing we get our mints and we just take little spoons of it and put it on top just like that so this mince it probably cooked in about five to seven minutes ish but just you can see when it's done I mean you can see that's done taste it but just obviously make sure it's you cooked it for a bit I don't overcook it so I'm just putting little spoons in so I've put a bit of the mince in all the cups and put a little bit more in that one so now this is when it's up to you what you top it with right so i like to top this now with a little bit more fresh chili but you don't need to put it but i've put it i like to put it on mine gives nice color little bit of spice there we go and some fresh coriander because remember we've got the coriander in there but I like some fresh as well. So I like to put that on all around. Very easy. We go. Just make sure there's a little bit on each one. Like that. Now I like to also put some sesame seeds. So I've worked out that you can have sesame seeds as a healthy extra B. Um, I think it was 25 grams. But I don't need that much. So I'm literally... It was two level tablespoons with six sins. So I'm only going to use a teaspoon. So I'm going to count this as one and a half sins. All this is totally free. This is where the sinage comes in. But you can have them like this. You can have them totally free. But if you want a little bit of something, then you can do this. So literally, a little sprinkle on each one like that so there you go literally see look teaspoon it's done the whole lot but it just gives it that nice again that asian vibe now this is again the sinage sweet chili sauce this is optional as well i ha haven't actually looked what this is sin wise so i apologize for that um but i'm just going to keep track of how much i use um and then sin it afterwards so so far this is one and a half sins for the whole tray so this is extra so it's level i'm not going to put much because you don't need much that's one level teaspoon it's literally a little drizzle on each one so i have now finished the dish and i have a friend here lila that's our dog one of our dogs and she's interested in this aren't you lila maybe you're not on slimming world yeah right get down so here's the finished product so let's go through it this is totally free apart from the sesame seeds um, that i use one level teaspoon which is um one and a half cents but that's optional you don't have to put it and then i've put four level teaspoons which is about two tablespoons of sweet chili sauce um and that works out at three sins for two um, level tablespoons so this whole thing is four and a half sins but it can be free just leave the sesame seeds and the sweet chili sauce off right enough talking i'm starving marvin now we're gonna eat so which one am i gonna get right i'll choose this little this little bud bud so you just hold it like that and i'm going in Mm. they're delicious and really low sins that's good isn't it if you like my dish and if you might give it a go yourself let me know in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more